For me personally, sharpening is a very basic thing. What do you need when you need to cut some wood? You need something sharp. How sharp? Sharp enough. That's all I think about when I'm going to go and sharpen something. I don't want to sit around for three hours getting a mirror polish on the back of my chisel. I don't need a mirror polish. I already know what I look like. Hi, I'm Jeff, and I'm going to talk about sharpening. Sharpening is very simple, but if you're new to woodworking, um, even if you've been around the block a little bit, uh, it's easy to find it a little bit intimidating. I've been getting to grips with the SWG 200. This is the smaller of the two whetstone grinders that Sherwood offer. It's easy, straightforward, and it will give me a grind every time. So the great thing about having a whetstone grinder in your workshop is you can use it for your fine woodworking applications, your chisels and your plane blades and so on, but it's not just for fine woodworking. Using this machine you can also sharpen an axe, garden shears, pocket knives, prison shivs, oh, um, whittling knives. In fact, anything that needs an edge you can use on here and you won't lose the temper. Unlike a regular grinder, the whetstone grinder is a, has a whetstone, it has a reservoir underneath with a little bit of water in it and the water actually soaks into the stone, creates more thermal mass in the stone and takes the heat out of the grinding operation. Heat is the enemy of sharpening. When you get to that fine edge and your steel overheats, it can lose its temper very easily and then you have to start all over again. So this machine has uh, variable speed which means that you can dial it into the speed that you need. In general, I would say that uh, finer jobs, you need a slower speed, uh, and the rougher jobs, like the axes and so on, um, just speed it up and get it cranking. So for fine woodworking, um, plane blades and chisel blades do need a flat back. Um, a grinder won't do that for you. Obviously, it only gives you a curved profile when it grinds. So to maintain your flat back, you will need um, some sort of flat sharpening stone like a diamond stone or water stone. There are a few things that you'll need um, when you're working with a whetstone grinder. I found it's handy to have a towel around. Um, I have a little spray bottle here to keep things wet, but I don't like a lot of water in the reservoir. Um, it can splash around a bit. I also find this is really helpful. It's a square uh, with uh, marks on it, or with measuring marks on it. Um, you don't have to use metric or imperial, whatever you're comfortable with. Um, this will help you set up the blade square to the jig um, and measure the projection of the blade out from the jig. Chisel goes in a straightforward jig that mounts to the bar here. There are other jigs available for this machine um, that can be used for knives, short knives, long knives, scissors and so on. Have a look at the website and see what range is available. Uh, they all do much the same thing, which is that they hold the tool in a fixed location relative to the wheel so that you get an even grind across it. So all you do um, is you secure the tool in the, in the jig, tighten it up there. Now I like to get it sort of tight-ish so that you can still kind of move it. Get your square and make sure that it's square on whoop, in the jig. The reason why you want to make sure it's square is just so that when you're rubbing it on the wheel, um, the bevel that you get is square across the, across the tool. The projection of the tool from the jig is going to determine the bevel angle that you can end up with. For different applications, uh, you might need a shallower bevel or, or a steeper bevel. Um, some plain irons are sharpened at 50 degrees, some chisels are sharpened at 25 degrees. It's a matter of getting used to the geometry of, um, of the machine and how the, um, how the tool interacts with the jig uh, to, set your, um, to set your distance. So I found that a projection of 66 millimetres, and yes I know I say it's 66, 66 millimetres from the end of the jig gives me a kind of a good starting point for a chisel, um, for a pairing chisel, that kind of thing. But all I do is I just measure 66 and it doesn't have to be exact, it's 66-ish. 
The guys just wanted me to say 66 as much as possible. Once you've got your tool secured in the jig, make sure it's nice and tight there. The, the, the jig just slides onto the uh, arm of the, of the grinder and you're ready to go. Give it a little bit of a spray. Finding that your grind is slightly not square, you can adjust the angle of the chisel in the jig to compensate for that. But all you're looking for is a nice even grind pattern all the way down the bevel and that the, the end of the uh, chisel is square. And that's all there is to it. For your tools that need a finer edge, so not your axes or your garden shears, but your knives, your chisels, your plane blades, you can move from the whetstone grinding wheel to the stropping wheel. Just a matter of moving the jig arm over from the right hand side to the left hand side and doing the same thing. That'll just give you a little finer edge on the tool. It's a good idea before you've um, packed everything away just to make sure that the chisel is as sharp as you want. So give it a test on a piece of wood in an operation that it's designed for. So if it's a mortise chisel, give it a bit of a chop. If it's a paring chisel, give it a slice. Um, if it's working fine, you're done. Sharpening is simple and it shouldn't be intimidating. This machine helps you keep it simple, gives you a one-stop shop from developing your edge to, to refining it and um, for all your tools, not just your fine woodworking stuff. So for more information, if you want a more in-depth look at whetstone grinding, check out Phoebe's video here. Otherwise, click on the links below and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you at Timbercon.